This is, for all intents and purposes, not the video that you probably would be wanting to see. Okay, Barry Trotz might be going to Nashville because he bought property there. Maybe. I don't know. That's the scoop that we have at the moment at the time of me recording this audio. Sure, the Philadelphia Flyers are going to hire John Tortorella, which has already been pretty much confirmed by most of the NHL insiders. It's as close to being confirmed as you can get without getting an official 100% legit confirmation from the Flyers themselves. At least at the time of me recording this audio, things might change by tomorrow morning. Right now, it's June 16th, Thursday, 5.02 p.m., and pretty much we're just waiting on the announcements to be made before John Tortorella is officially named the head coach of the Flyers. However, that's not the topic I wanted to focus on in this video today. Sure, there are probably other YouTubers that can cover the Tortorella to Philadelphia thing in a much greater detail than I, so I would highly encourage you to check them out and give them your attention but in this video, I wanted to focus on something that did not happen. What the Philadelphia Flyers apparently wanted to happen more than John Tortorella, but ultimately got rejected from. Let's talk about Barry Trotz, because as a free agent, I guess, that's kind of what the proper terminology is right now, isn't it? He still has not signed a contract, he still does not have himself a team. But, with all the stuff going around with the Nashville Predators, it kind of makes sense to think that maybe Barry Trotz goes over to Nashville, maybe he gets himself a managerial role, front office role, after his coaching days are over, which has apparently been something that a lot of NHL insiders have said that Trotz wants for himself. I could understand if Philadelphia does not want to go down that route, especially with Danny Briere coming in and doing the things that he is doing, but... This is the article that I wanted to highlight here today on CrossingBroad.com. Now, if you don't know who Crossing Broad is, they are, as the name suggests, a Philadelphia, Pennsylvania-based sports website. They talk about Philadelphia news. They've got a whole bunch of followers on Twitter. They seem pretty legit and connected within Flyers, Sixers, Eagles, and other sporting outlets in Philadelphia. They published this article on June, well, it was actually June 15th, but they updated it from yesterday, so June 16th. This is the updated version of their Flyers Hiring John Tortorella article. I will leave a link in the description if you want to go ahead and read. It does say off the top that an official announcement from Philadelphia is probably going to happen on Friday, and that's going to be tomorrow for me. It's today for you. This video you're watching might actually be uploaded as the announcement is happening, so there you go. John Tortorella is apparently your new head coach. But what I wanted to focus on was Barry Trotz and Philadelphia as well. Because if you go over this little section on the article right here asking if John Tortorella was the Flyers' first choice, it's apparent that by all accounts, he was not. According to multiple sources from both within and outside the Flyers organization, Tortorella was second on the Flyers' wish list behind only recently fired Islanders head coach Barry Trotz. According to two Flyer sources, Trotz, who started narrowing down his potential landing spots Monday, turned down an offer from the Flyers early on Tuesday, which led to the Flyers pivoting to Torts. Trotz and the Flyers were very engaged, and the sides met multiple times virtually and at least once in person. It appears Trotz was more impressed with the Flyers than many thought it would be, and using Dave Scott's blank check mantra for the whole offseason, the Flyers' contract offer would have allegedly made Trotz the highest paid coach in NHL history. Now, this is the part, which is why I'm even making this video in the first place. I don't have exact figures, the writer of this article says, but one source indicated that the offer was more than $7 million each year. The Flyers didn't hesitate, and immediately reached out to Tortorella once Trotz declined it. But is it possible that Torts was not a favorite of GM Chuck Fletcher? Now, Barry Trotz. Interesting guy. Pretty good head coach. We had talked about his defensive abilities and the strategies that he had used to win a Stanley Cup with Washington and lead a New York Islander squad to the conference finals twice in a row, which, if you combine it with the 2018 Capitals run, makes Barry Trotz a guy who reached that mark three times in four seasons. He plays a very good defensive game, it's a well-respected and effective game, and he has been the big fish free Asian coach on the market for a while now. But... Hearing that Philadelphia was a point of intrigue for Barry Trotz, only for him to deny a $7 million AAV year coaching deal is kind of interesting. And it's interesting because if you go over to NHL players that are making a certain amount of money and you look at players making less than $7 million in the NHL right now, Barry Trotz rejected a contract offer that would have seen him making more money per year than William Nylander, 
David Pasternak, Sam Reinhart, Tori Krug, Chris Kreider, Brendan Gallagher, Alex Debrinket, Sean Monaghan, Nathan McKinnon. There are some very good players making under $7 million. Barry Trotz had a chance to overtake all of them in the monetary department, and he said no. Wow. Holy, that is wild, man. Like, the only way this makes sense to me is if there really was an emphasis placed on his desire to potentially go to a front office role once his coaching days are over. Maybe there's a reason for Philadelphia not being the team. As we mentioned, there's Danny Briere going over there doing what it is that he's doing, and he's brand new as a special advisor role to the GM, I believe it is, or special assistant or something like that. Maybe there's somewhat of an expiration date for David Poyle. Who knows? Maybe Barry Trotz is just like, yeah, Nashville's cool, I'm gonna buy property here. Here's what Elliot Friedman had to say, talking on the Jeff Merrick show the other day about this entire thing. There was a lot of talk about Trotz buying a house in Nashville yesterday. One of the things I did think was that if he went into management right now, he probably might do it with the Predators. They would be willing to say, if you want to come into management, come join us. And if that really is the case, that the guy's looking for a lot more long-term security beyond his coaching job, I could totally understand Nashville being the team. It's just in isolation when you acknowledge that this guy rejected a $7 million deal in Philadelphia. It's almost like saying, man, you can pay me to coach in Philadelphia. I know that's not the case because the fact that the conversations between Trotz and Philly got to a point where there was even money being discussed, it means that there was a high level of interest from Trotz himself. It's just... Once a $7 million contract offer gets on the books, how difficult is it to go out there and say no to that man? That guy must be super adamant on his front office role by the time his coaching days are over, and I think we can all conclude that Philadelphia might not have been able to offer him that sort of security, which is why he would have rejected a $7 million deal. He would have been making more money than McKinnon! And he said no. It is so crazy to me, which is why we're making this video in the first place. Philadelphia Flyers fans, though, at the time of this video's upload, John Tortorella is likely your new head coach. So talk to me in the comments all your thoughts about Torts being the guy. How do you feel about the team missing out on Trotz after having him so high up on their list that they would have been able to pay him $7 million a year to be your head coach, only to settle for the second guy you had behind Trotz on the depth chart? Does that make you feel offended in any way? Do you kind of question what happened with Barry Trotz to converse with the team enough to the point where you're talking about money only for him to reject an offer that would have made him the highest paid coach per year in NHL history? Do you feel a slap in the face here or there? I'm not really too sure what you should be feeling, but let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. If you're a Nashville Predators fan, what are your thoughts about Barry Trotz potentially heading over to your team? And what are your thoughts about him potentially taking a front office role or something along the like by the time his coaching days are over? What do you think about him buying property in Nashville as well? I know a lot of people might not place too much stock into that, but a lot of people have been, so it certainly is a discussion point that I think is worth talking about, which is why we made this video here today. The Flyers offered him $7 million a year, and he said no. What we can conclude from that is that this guy definitely is not going out there just for the money. He has a checklist of things that he wants to get fulfilled, and Philadelphia, sorry, but money doesn't talk in this situation. The other things that Barry Trotz placed value in? Unfortunately, it looks like the Flyers would not have been able to fulfill those desires. So, let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. Hope you enjoyed this British Rajasthan 9. And, bye.